<laughs> Welcome to the Coalition of Scrubs, and yes, that was all of our collective natural voices singing. Hey, what's up, guys? Dane Chaos here, coming at you with a brand new video. So this week, we have a new deck showcase for you guys, but before that, let me start off with the ads and get those out of the way. So this video is sponsored uh, by me. And, uh, Milo, because no one else puts money in this channel. Hey, like, like that anyways. I mean, generally, nobody puts money in this channel. But, that aside, I'm just fucking with you guys. Um, the other team members of this channel, uh, Cardinus25 and Frank Chaos, have been such a great help to this channel, so please make sure to, uh, check out their videos, or check out Frank Chaos's videos. Uh, Carnage is generally in tag duels with me, you'll see him and a couple tag duels uh, from replays that you find, or anything else in the channel. Uh, also, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the Coalition of Scrubs, and to Harvard Cardman, who is Prank Chaos. Uh, everyone, er, all their links are in the description. Everyone is an awesome content creator, so please show them your support. So, back off to the video. I'll explain, uh, to start off, the deck that I am showcasing today is... Uh, Herald Dryatron. So, Herald of Perfection, uh, I did do a random replays on this video a little bit, like, I did do a random replay video on this deck a while ago. Um, it received a decent amount of views, and you guys seemed to like it, so I figured I'd put it into a deck showcase for you guys. So, long story short, uh, this deck ends on True King of All Calamities and Herald of Perfection. So, the way you're going to be setting this off is you generally use your general Dryaton plays, such as Ban Alpha or uh, Ross Beta. You make Link Karibo by summoning it out of the Nova, and then you start going through different combos. Uh, legitimately, Dryatron Nova and Cyber Angel Ben 10 in your hand is full combo. Like, full Calamities and Herald combo. Um, now, sadly, this... Uh, this particular deck does actually tend to use Aurora Dawn. Now, you use Aurora Dawn along with Link Cross and that whole lineup to get out three tokens and Metal Marcher, which are all level threes. And then you use them to synchro on a Crocosaur, drawing you two cards. And then you use whatever leftover two monsters and the other monster to make the Trishula. Uh, Ice Imprisonment Dragon, which you then use to make True King of All Calamities. The deck is pretty solid, and it's hyper consistent. I have run into one Brick Hand, which I ended up having to normal summon uh, Vanity's Ruler and Pass. But even then, you still have Vanity's Ruler, which is a searchable option and makes amazing, amazing plays. So we're going to start off, get into some replays. There's, I'm not going to be narrating over them, but there's going to be some really nice music over them. And then I'll read the deck profile, and that should be it. We lost the minds in the darkness of night. We live to die. We lose the souls every day. We lost the we don't remember what's wrong and what's right. That's right. No out of step, but we stay. Cause we are born as living fights. We live to die. We live to die. And we're surrounded by the night. We live to die. We are shy.
So, start us off, I'll you off the uh, monster count, and I'll explain a little bit of the deck. So, to start off, we have one Vandy's Ruler, one Honest, one Diviner of the Heralds, one Herald of Orange Light, one Herald of Green Light, triple Dryatron Van Alpha, one Dryatron El Gamma, three Dryatron Al Zeta, one Cyframe Gear Beta. This can also be an Alpha, it just depends on what level one tuner you want from Cyframes. The reason why we run this Cyframe is because it cannot be normal summoned or set. So, uh, you can special summon it off the Halker Fibrax. It can be special summoned from a deck. That's all that really matters. As long as it can be special summoned, that's all that matters. Um, you run one Eva, three Herald of Perfection, three Cyber Angel Ben 10. Then, I also run two Pre Preparation of Rights, three Extra Foolish Burial Goods, three Cyber Emergency, three Preparation of Rights, three. Dryatron Nova, along with two Dawn of the Heralds, one Meteorist Dryatron, and three Dryatron Fafnir. And for the extra deck, we run one Link Rebo, one Link Cross, one Barricade Board Blocker, one Halker Fibrax, one Mecha Phantom Beast Auroradon, one True King of All Calamities, one Formula Synchron, one Metal Marcher, one Herald of the Arclight, another Herald of the Arclight, so, sorry, two Herald of the Arclights. Along with one Cypher Gear Omega. Or Cypher Lord Omega. Jeez, if I could speak, that would be nice today. One Borlode Savage Dragon. One Ravenous Crocosaurus. Arcadis. One Elder Entity Antis. And one Trishula Dragon of Ice Imprisonment. Uh, these side deck cards are uh, other options for fairy ritual monsters that you just kind of slap in. Uh, for Ash, is a solid way to close out games. Same thing with Dankini. Dankini searches or adds back a ritual monster from your uh, graveyard to your hand during your end phase. So she can lead to more negates off the Herald, which is nice. And Natasha uh, is an amazing go second option. Uh, other than that, this deck is highly consistent between the small Drytron engine, because you legitimately have... Here, we'll, we'll count out the searchers for all of the ritual cards themselves. So, Divine of the Heralds counts as one. We have three Van Alpha, so that's four. Three Zeta, so that's seven. One uh, Eva, which doesn't actually search the um, other cards. It doesn't actually search any of the other like ritual monsters, but it does search the uh, Diviner if you absolutely need it to. Which then, so that's, what, about eight? Yeah, that's eight. Then three Ben 10, which is busted. She needs to be limited to one or put to a hard once per turn. So that makes another, let's see, so eight plus three is 11. Then two preparations of rights, which means 13. Three full extra foolish burial, which instantly makes it 16. Then 19 with the three uh, side of urgency. Then three more with these, which leads to another 22 searchers. Then three more, 
off the Dryatron Nova. So that's 25 searchers. And you have three ways to search your Dryatron Nova, which is Fafnir. So essentially, 90, like 80% of the deck is searching priority for your original cards. The other stuff is just to help negate or boost your other stuff. Now, let's say you hard brick and you were only able to summon two monsters, so like let's say Benton and Ban Alpha, but you can keep the Herald in your hand. Uh, the plan B for this deck is the Vanity's Ruler, because it is searchable off the Benten, and if you don't want to see the Herald, so let's say you're up against something broken like Eldritch or something like that, where you need to be more uh, control-based against a combo deck, where they they run stuff like Dark Ruin and War and stuff, you want the Vanity's Ruler, so this way they have to out it. This is where they have a harder time outing it. Um... But either way, so you end on Calamity, King of All Calamities, or Vanity's Ruler with a Herald with like 3 to 5 negates. But other than that, this deck is highly consistent, it is really fun, and absolutely broken. But, you know, that's hearsay. Anyway guys, thanks for showing up, watching the video. Please, like I said before, leave a like, comment, and do subscribe. Don't forget to have a lovely day, enjoy your games or whatever hobbies you do besides Yu-Gi-Oh, and uh, have a good game. Peace out, guys.